all right guys welcome back to Plark's garage and give you a little bit of update what happened i don't want to feel like wearing the mask i can be heard i guess so the day that i changed my spark plugs and put fresh gas inside the car stopped running checked it for spark you know the whole trick with the spark plug grounded on the somewhere on the chassis no spark Come on. Found out that my distributor took a shit. So I uh, asked around and you know if anyone had an extra distributor. One of my friends Arvin, shout out to Arvin for providing this distributor. And we got to start. However, because of the amount of cranking I was doing, it burnt out the starter. In addition to burning out the starter, I was trying to trace the power wire that leads down to the starter, see if it was grounding anywhere. And that right there slipped out. So I had to go fix that. So a lot of things, a lot of gremlins going on right now with my car. This happens when you've been gone for a while and you try to ask someone to help you out. But, uh, We'll get there, I'm gonna go pull off the starter and then go get a new one from a Diamond Auto which is a local uh, auto, port, auto parts store here on Guam and then put it in and hopefully she starts and then after that once to get it started uh, I need to retime my distributor because it's not timed properly and I, I didn't get a chance to time it when I was able to turn the car around. So, yeah, lots of fun. It's just uh, it's a love and hate relationship with the 240. But uh, that's what you got to deal with. Alright guys, so I pulled out the starter. Uh, I was lucky enough, thank you James, James Padua for lending me the spare starter. I'm 8 out of 10 times sure that my starter did burn out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wire wheel this and uh, yeah, I'll slap it on and hopefully we get the engine going again. So I got the starter in, fixed a little bit of the wiring issue, the terminal that slipped out earlier, uh, fixed that. Uh, hopefully it holds and uh, we're gonna go start up and Pray, pray that it freaking starts. So I'm tired of chasing gremlins. I also really need to do my timing for when it tunes out the distributor. Oh shoot. Damn, kill switch. Please. Okay. So it looks like we have another. <coughs> so I changed out my starter and I'm gonna go change out my battery terminal. And I'll show you why. So something happened a while back. My car was still in a. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, this is my positive battery terminal. You can see there's a freaking hole in there. I need to change that. This is. I'm pretty old, I'm gonna just change out both battery terminals. And then we'll hook everything back up and definitely now we're gonna have to pray after that. All right, we're back. Got me a new starter. Uh, sadly, James is uh, starting to work. So I'm um, gonna slap on this new starter and uh, pray. Pray to God that it works this time. All right, so I got the brand new terminals on. Um, yeah. I guess we'll try to crank. All I want to know is if I'll crank. If we'll crank, then hopefully it's better than yesterday. Okay, we don't got cranks. So. Shit! What's going on? All right. So the star's not the issue. 
I uh, actually also bought a new battery. Looks like black shit on my head. Anyways, I bought a new battery. We relocated the battery back to the front again where I originally had it. And uh, we're gonna go crank it up and see if it starts. Alright, so here's my battery. Uh, this kind of sucks. But it's alright because I'd rather have the battery in the front anyways. It just looks crammed as hell. So my brother's in the car. I'm gonna have him go ahead and uh, prime the fuel pump. Go ahead. And we have a problem again. Shit. Oh, come on! For real? <sighs> Alright. Alright, so on the last clip, the car didn't start. Um, however, right before I filmed that, or decided to record that, it actually did start, so... Yeah, there's a lot to go try to diagnose. Um, I have some parts coming in to hopefully fix it. But uh, who knows if it's actually going to work. Uh, I'm kind of suspecting maybe the ignition switch and maybe a couple of the relays. But I did test the ignition switch and the relays and they all checked out pretty alright. So it's kind of a headache. So um, in the meantime, so I never finished this video. In the meantime, as you can see, it's not S15 front end anymore, so I'm working on that and yeah, hopefully when the parts come in, uh, things go as planned. So um, yeah, stay safe, stay hopeful, wash your hands, subscribe.